Hi all, my name is Legion Ambergis and I am working as structural design trainee engineer at Econstruct Design and Build Private Limited. And uh, uh, I joined Econstruct uh, six months ago and I am very happy that I have uh, I am working with uh, Econstruct. And uh, this is my portfolio. And uh, right up the, after the first page, I just provided the cover letter to which company I wish to uh, join. This is the cover letter of me. And uh, this is a, a short profile of uh, mine. And uh, here there is uh, provided with software skills, uh, the projects I have worked with uh, Econstruct and uh, the area of expertise and technical skills and all. Uh, let's have a look uh, on that. The software skills, uh, I have uh, familiar with uh, uh, CSI ETAP, CSI SAFES app 2000 and then for uh, detailing purpose, I am using uh, RCDC, uh, then uh, Procon, Start Pro, AutoCAD, Microsoft Office, etc. Uh, softwares I am uh, knowing and um, these are the technical skills uh, you can see uh, here and uh, I have uh, done uh, many projects with uh, using these types of uh, analysis that is P-delta analysis, response spectrum analysis, uh, model analysis, buckling analysis, creep analysis and different uh, ch checks like uh, soft story check, um, a torsional irregularity check uh, and you can see auto construction sequence analysis, vibration analysis, uh, foundation design etc. And uh, these are the projects I have uh, worked in association with the um, e-construct. Uh, here, uh, there are nine projects I have listed and uh, some projects are under progress. I am not uh, listed here. And uh, in here, uh, there is uh, some uh, residential complexes, uh, commercial projects and one uh, steel structure uh, called bungee jumping platform uh, um, I, I have worked with. And uh, my area of expertise are, I am capable of doing analysis and design of uh, RCC as well as the steel structures using ETAPs and also I am capable of doing uh, foundation designs uh, in SAFE uh, software uh, that is um, uh, isolated footing, uh, combined footing, eccentric footing, raft, raft plus pile etc. Uh, I can do, uh, I am confident and uh, the detailing and drafting uh, I am using RCDC uh, uh, along with the uh, AutoCAD for uh, detailing and drafting. Uh, then I am capable of preparing pr uh, presentations and uh, uh, DBS, that is uh, design basis reports of uh, all the projects I have done and uh, I'm having good communication presentation and uh, leadership skills to take the projects. Let's move on. Here are my educational qualifications and work experience. Before uh, joining here, I worked uh, in UAE as a, a, site, in, a site engineer for uh, three years. Let's move on to the uh, projects that I have worked with uh, eConstruct. Uh, first one is uh, this residential apartment that is a G plus uh, 5 project uh, that have 8 levels and uh, it's a residential complex um, located in uh, Mumbai and uh, lots um, uh, considered are according to the IS code that is uh, IS 875 part 1, part 2 and part 3 for dead, live and uh, wind analysis. And seismic load I can uh, consider uh, I taken uh, according to IS 1893-2016, and the analysis performed are um, uh, model analysis, uh, response spectrum analysis, speed delta analysis uh, with a stiffness modification factor. All uh, we are done, and uh, uh, we are checking serviceability checks uh, like uh, deflection check, and uh, all the stability checks like uh, uh, drift uh, deflection. Uh, everything uh, I, I have checked and um, irregularity checks like uh, soft story check, uh, torsion irregularity check um, and everything we are uh, checking uh, according to the IS code, uh, uh, the corresponding code uh, provisions. And design is done as per IS 456 and uh, the detailing is done according to IS 13920 and uh, uh, SP34. Now the foundation. Uh, for this project, the SPC was 300 kN per meter square. So uh, we provided uh, isolated and combined uh, footing for this project. You can take a look. And uh, for isolated and uh, um, combined, we are providing allowable settlement as 25 um, mm. Uh, then for the foundation, the checks like GBP, ground bearing pressure check, 
settlement check, punching shear check, uh, then uh, reinforcement checks, crack bit checks, all um, we have uh, done, uh, I have done in uh, this project. And uh, for uh, this project, we mainly used softwares are ATAP Safe and some spreadsheets, AutoCAD, etc. Moving on to the uh, next project. Uh, this project was a commercial building that is G plus uh, for building and it has uh, seven levels uh, and uh, that is situated, uh, located at uh, HSR layout. And uh, same as uh, the previous project, a lot considered according to the um, IS codes, uh, then analysis performed uh, are uh, same analysis are uh, done. But in this project, the main challenge was to control the uh, slab deflection. Uh, there uh, was a uh, large deflection was there. So we have decided to uh, do the creep analysis and we uh, passed the creep analysis. And uh, then uh, checks like uh, serviceability, stability, uh, irregularity, all, all the uh, checks we have done. Uh, then moving to the foundation system uh, for uh, this project, uh, the SPC was 250 kilonewton per uh, meter square. And we have provided eccentric plus strap coating because in this project, uh, another challenge was uh, the boundary area. There was a restriction to the uh, boundary. So we cannot extend the um, uh, footing to more than some extent. Uh, so um, we have considered eccentric footing plus uh, strap footing, uh, eccentric plus strap footing for the uh, stability of the structure. And allowable settlement is 25 mm. And um, they all the checks like the GBP uh, settlement, um, pregnant share, everything is uh, also done in this project. Moving to the next one. This is uh, this was also a um, commercial building, G plus two building, uh, situated at uh, Nilamangala, and it has uh, five levels and lots of uh, analysis. Everything is same as the um, previous only, and uh, checks uh, design. Uh, move, uh, and uh, one of the main uh, challenge in this project was at the second level there is a meet, there was a meeting hall, so we cannot provide a column in between. Uh, they uh, needed uh, some uh, a long span of column free area, so uh, we uh, tackled it with uh, de uh, deep beams uh, provided uh, at that floor. Uh, so it was a, a good project. And foundation system uh, SBC is given uh, is 180 kilonewton per meter square. And for this uh, project also, uh, due to some boundary restrictions, eccentric plus strap footing uh, uh, we used. Uh, and um, all the checks for foundation, uh, like the GPP, settlement, panic share, everything uh, also done for this project also. Moving to the uh, next one. Uh, it was a residential building, normal residential building uh, situated at uh, Tumgur and uh, the uh, lots analysis uh, uh, and checks are uh, all uh, same as the previous one and uh, foundation uh, 250 kilonewton per meter square was the SBC and uh, we used it uh, isolated footings uh, you can see here uh, isolated footings we have used allowable settlement was 25 mm. Then uh, all the uh, checks are uh, same as uh, the previous projects. Moving to the next one. Uh, this was a residential building, uh, G plus 10 building. Actually, uh, it have uh, le 13 levels uh, situated at, um, uh, located at Mysore only. And um, this project have some underground parkings and uh, the, actually the parking was uh, over the uh, raft foundation. And uh, the load considered um, as per the IS code provisions and the analysis uh, done, uh, response spectral analysis, p delta model analysis, everything is done, everything has done. And the checks like serviceability, stability, regularity checks, everything uh, is done. And then uh, coming to the foundation, their SPC was 250 kilonewton per meter square. Uh, we finally uh, decided to provide a raft foundation. And the, um, the parking uh, lots or um, parking lots are also considered of the uh, raft foundation because uh, they are use, uh, using uh, the um, uh, raft uh, as a parking lot uh, also. Uh, then uh, coming to the checks, ground bearing ch uh, checks, um, settlement, bunging shear check, uh, crack width check, everything is uh, done for this project also. Moving to the next one. This is uh, was a residential building, G plus 11 building, uh, situated at uh, Andheri, uh, residential building, levels are uh, 14 levels. And um, this uh, project was uh, having underground parkings like uh, stuck 
parkings that was uh, the uh, new thing in this project and um, everything was same and uh, uh, moving to the foundation uh, we provided a raft foundation and the allowable settlement for uh, raft foundation uh, is uh, 50 mm and uh, checks like uh, ground bearing uh, ground bearing pressure settlement punching shear check everything has done moving to the next project it was a uh, rehabilitation center that is a G plus 24 building with levels of 27 uh, levels is uh, located at um, Mumbai. Uh, it was a rehabilitation center and main challenging uh, uh, challenge was uh, in, in this project was at one corner of this project the stiffness was very less. So it is. It was a little tricky to control the rotation, um, the model analysis and um, all. And um, one more thing is, it's a high to uh, sm smaller width ratio is greater than four. So uh, we uh, have done buckling analysis also in this um, project. And uh, in this project, wind is governing much. So we calculated wind uh, guest factor uh, according to IS 875 2015, and uh, we have applied in this building. And uh, everything uh, came uh, normal. Um, moving to the foundation system, the SPC was 1100 uh, square kilometer. Mm, uh, the uh, raft we provided and the allowable settlement is uh, 50 mm only. And uh, every uh, foundation checks um, uh, we have done on uh, this project also, and it is passed. Moving to the uh, next project, it was a G plus 27 um, uh, uh, building. Uh, located at Vartak Nagar, it was a residential building. It was the most uh, challenging um, uh, building I have done. And for this project, uh, um, at the middle portion, there is a lot, uh, some around 12, uh, 14 columns are uh, there. At the, uh, so uh, for the transfer of load, uh, we have to had to provide a, a transfer girder of two meter, uh, around two meter uh, depth uh, at the um, fourth level uh, for the uh, load transfer and all. Uh, and we have done uh, buckling analysis uh, in this project also. Um, we have applied uh, guest, uh, uh, wind guest analysis. And um, then, uh, and coming to the load combination, uh, there is a, a, a girder is provided. So uh, according to the key element uh, design, we have provided a key element, uh, load combination for key elements. And uh, as there is a lot of irregularities, we considered vertical earthquake also in this project. Uh, so vertical earthquake load combinations uh, we are considered. And there is a soft story is present at uh, one of the floors due to the presence of uh, this big uh, transfer girder at one floor. Uh, so um, that also, um, the soft story load combinations also we have, uh, had considered uh, in this. Uh, project. Uh, so the checks are um, the normal checks like uh, serviceability checks, stability checks, uh, irregularities, soft story irregularities. There was one uh, floor with the uh, soft story, and uh, uh, there is torsional irregularity was also uh, present. All uh, that all we have rectified according to the court provisions. Mm, and for SPC 425 kilonewton per um, meter square was the SPC, and uh, pro uh, provided uh, foundation was raft. Uh, allowable settlement is 50 mm and the normal uh, checks uh, are uh, all the checks uh, we have done on this project also and you can see the uh, raft in here and there is a drop uh, we have provided uh, at these portions uh, to um, uh, tackle the stress and uh, punching shear uh, etc. Moving to the next project uh, this was uh, a steel project and uh, it was a bungee jumping, bungee jumping uh, platform which is located at uh, Goa and um, there was uh, one level you can see uh, there is one level at this level uh, there is a briefing level so um, they can brief about the jumping and safety measures and all uh, at this level and at uh, the above level there is a platform uh, the one who, who are going to uh, jump uh, can walk through this platform and uh, jump over there. And for this project, uh, the main uh, challenge was the vibration analysis. Uh, we had done uh, vibration analysis uh, and uh, the st stability checks like um, deflection drift, all, all we are uh, uh, controlled by providing uh, bracings and all uh, in here. Okay. Then for the foundation, uh, we provided 
uh, pile foundation uh, for this uh, and the allowable settlement for uh, pile foundation is 5 mm and uh, you can see the arrangements of piles uh, here and uh, these all are the these all are the uh, projects I have done uh, with the construct uh, for last uh, six months. Now also I am uh, working and uh, now, I am, now I am looking forward to uh, work with a reputed uh, company as a structural uh, design engineer. And thank you.